wanted to show you how to save a pattern for you to use later. Um, so we're just, what I made here is a quick little simple pattern. I'm using kind of like I showed you in class, a collection of um, related uh, hues with just some varying changes in their values. And I started out by making the um, the squares first behind and then um, added the circles so you could whoops so I just made these one at a time here and then um, each one with a different basically this is going one two three four right here one two three four I believe and then adding the circles on top here and you could uh, keep this going and make another circle here maybe a complementary color another circle here uh, this complementary and keep that idea uh, going forward so you don't have this is just a super simple thing as a demonstration so uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over that the process again I'm gonna go you can go command A to select everything and then go object pattern make say okay to this and I'm gonna call it super minty circles okay and this is where you play with the different kind of uh, configurations here I'm not gonna get into all that stuff um, you can see that in the other tutorials um, I have these copies dimmed uh, quite a bit, but y you can see this is what it's going to look like here. Now here's a key thing. Uh, you want to make sure you say done here, and here you see super minty circles. And uh, what we want to do now is save that. And here's the important thing. Maybe you can bring this up higher. So I'm going to click on this lower left hand corner. Uh, color themes panel, pardon me, this, and then just say in this swatches panel, uh, in the lower left hand corner, I'm just going to click on this and choose save swatches. Okay, and then I'm going to call this super minty circles. And what this is doing is it's going to save it in my swatches folder for future use. And that will be in all of my, I'm going to just get rid of this one so it doesn't confuse you. Uh, so the super minty circles is going to be available to me as a swatch. Okay, so now when you do your thing in 4K or a tabloid, I'm going to choose profile here, video and film, and we're going to choose this super big one called 4K. You could also do HD TV, all these different choices, but this is uh, the one that I asked you to do for the homework. I'm going to say OK to that. And so now um, here's this super big uh, file, 4,000 pixels uh, long. Let's say we're going to use this uh, design that we made, this pattern, as a background and we'll have some text. Maybe it's a documentary and this is like a, a start of a new chapter in that documentary. You want to have a little design to it to kind of create some visual interest. So here's the swatches and I don't see our pattern this is the a trick here if you go down to we click the same thing this lower left hand corner and say user defined and we're looking for super minty circles down here at the bottom and then we just click on that and we can kind of move this aside now when we we have that loaded into our foreground color I'm going to say rectangle tool. We're going to get rid of this. We don't want a stroke really for that. And then I'm going to go here and boom. And you can see I'm going to blow that up a little bit. So here's our minty pattern. And now you have it saved into your swatches uh, for future use. And all you have to do now, let me go ahead and show you. So when you're, you're uh, you can save this as a, a Adobe Illustrator file. You also may want to, if you're putting it on your website, export it as a PNG file. And just so you could put this to your desktop or your folder. Uh, 
super minty 4K pattern. Okay, and then save that out. 72 PPI is fine if it's going to stay on the web, and um, you're done.